Hello everyone. This is a lesson on simultaneous equation. It's a lesson that is intended for grade 10s. There are two ways that you can solve simultaneous equations. One way is elimination. Another way is substitution. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you do substitution. So we're going to look at an example, but before we look at an example, I'm going to tell you steps that you go through to do um, substitution with simultaneous equation. With simultaneous equations, you will be given two equations and two unknowns. When you look at these two equations, you have an x and a y in this equation and x and y in the other equation. So you, ca you can't solve it with one equation. You need two equations. The first thing that you do, you make one variable the subject of the formula in one equation. So in these two equations, you choose any that will work for you and make one variable. When we say one variable, either x or y, the any of them that you think will be easier for you. So what I'll do, I'll read a statement and do that. Um, not read everything all at once. So let's do the first part. Before you do that, you number your, your equation. Call this equation 1. And then this one will be equation 2, right? So I'm deciding to use equation 1. So I'm going to write equation 1 again. 8y is equals to 36. I'm deciding to do x, the subject of the formula. So I'm going to have 4x is equals to 36 minus 8y. Divide by 4 everything. So x is equals to 36 divided by 4, which is 9, minus 8 divided by 4, 2, 5. So I have made x, the sub one variable. In this case, it's x. You can, you, you can do y. x is a subject of the formula. So x is equals to 9 minus 2y. Then call that equation 3. So our, our next point is name it equation 3. We have already done that. This new equation that we have done, we call it equation 3. Then the third, third step, substitute equation 3 in the other equation. I've underlined other because you originally had two equations. But equation 3 is one of the two equations. Do not substitute in the same equation. So you need to remember, did I use 1 to find x or did I use 2? That's why you named them at the beginning. So we used 1. So I'm going to substitute for x in equation 2, not in equation 1. So in equation 2, it's 2. My x is this x that I'm going to use. 9 minus 2y plus 9y is equals to 28. And then 2 times 9, it's 18. 2 times it's minus 4y plus 9y is equals to 28. Then I have minus 4y, 9y, I'm going to have 5y is equals to 28 minus 18. I took the 18 to the other side. Then I have 5y is equals to 28 minus 18, which will be 10. Divide by 5, divide by 5, y is equals to 2. 4, they say solve for one variable. We've already done that. We have solved for one variable. So we can see that y is equals to 2. We've already found our y. So we need to find x. 5, they say substitute the variable in equation 3. The variable that you just got, you substitute it in equation 3. Why do we use equation 3? Because equation 3 is already saying x is equals to. So we don't have to solve it again. So you have x is equals to 9 minus 2, but my y is 2. So it's 9 minus 2 times 2 is 4. My x is equals to 9 minus 4, which is 5. So this is my answer. My y is equals to 2 and my x is equals to 5. So this is how you solve a simultaneous equation using substitution. It's called using substitution because we've substituted for the variable that you calculated here. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching.